Hello, this is Mr. T with a calculus tutorial on finding intervals where a function has a various concavity, either concave up or concave down. Concave up holds water and concave down spills water. And inflection points, the points where the concavity changes. And we're going to be working a sample for this original function here, f of x equals 6 over x squared plus 3. Concavity is related to the second derivative, so to get started we had to find the first and second derivative. I've shown the work on here, we'll briefly describe that. I rewrote the original function uh, in this format to make it easy to find the first derivative using the chain rule. So we get negative 1 times 6, subtract 1 from the exponent, and then take derivative of the parentheses uh, using the chain rule, and we simplify that, we get that. We have to use a product uh, quotient rule here since we have x's in both the numerator and denominator. As we do in class, I set up a, uh, our table here with numerator, numerator prime, denominator, denominator prime using the chain rule. And we use negative the denominator prime. We take the sum of the cross products in the numerator over here and divide that by the denominator squared. Now we're going to be needing to solve the second derivative for equal to zero, so we need to simplify this. So I GCF factored out the top. We have a 12 in common and a x squared plus 3 to the first power. That's my GCF. If I divide that by the GCF, I have 4x squared left. And if we divide this by the GCF, we have x squared plus 3. And I simplify the top. When I add these together, I get 3x squared minus 3. So I GCF factored out another 3, 36 here, and x squared minus 1. And I canceled this x squared plus 3 with one of the ones in the bottom. So that got us to the second derivative. So again, we want to find values that make that equal to 0 or undefined. To find for equal to 0, we're going to solve x squared minus 1 equals 0, and we get plus or minus 1 for that. And if we look at the denominator equal to 0, uh, there is no number for that, so there are no values where the second derivative is undefined. To evaluate our concavity, we want to organize these on a number line. And in each interval, determine whether the second derivative is positive or negative. So if I put a large negative number into this, I'm going to get positive. That's the 36. x squared minus 1 will be positive, and that will be positive. So we have a positive second derivative, which means this interval is concave up. If I put 0 in, I get positive, negative, over positive. So I have a negative second derivative, concave down. And here I'm going to have all positives concave up. So our concave up interval, concave up, is from negative infinity to negative 1, and from 1 to infinity. Concave down is between negative 1 and 1. Places where the concavity changes are called inflection points, so we have two inflection points. We have x equals negative 1, and at x equals 1, we have to go back to our original function here and put in positive and negative 1. If I put negative 1 in, I've got 4 on the denominator, so I get 3 halves. And if I put positive 1 in, I also get 3 halves. So our inflection points are at negative 1, 3 halves, and positive 1, and 3 halves. And that's it. Thank you.